Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti and the Makita 12 volt brushed quarter inch hex impact driver. Now, both of these uh, tools are awesome. You know, as you guys know, I love 12 volt systems. That's my favorite line of the tools of all brands is the 12 volt line because the 12 volt systems are actually more powerful than what people actually think that they are. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I think it's time. There are gonna be other videos of 12 volts going at it and see which one's more powerful and which one's more timely with being more battery efficient which uh, with doing the tasks. So the Makita is model number DT03. It is a quarter inch hex uh, anvil. Uh, it is a variable speed trigger only and this goes to zero to 2600 RPMs and zero to 3,500 beats per minute. And we, uh, it does not say the torque. I'll put the torque in right now if I can find it. We are gonna, we're not gonna waste any time. We are just gonna use four amp hour batteries. The battery is full. There is a fuel gauge on the four amp hour batteries. Hilti and Makita make brushless tools, uh, 12 volt tools. So I will be getting the brushless 12 volt line soon. And we'll do go another head to head when it comes to the brushless versions. All right, so for the Hilti, the battery is full using a four amp hour battery. Brushed motor. The model number for this is SID2-A. A variable trigger only. Uh, this goes to zero to 2,500 RPM. And this does not say beats per minute, which I'll put that in right now and I'll put in the torque. So yeah, so uh, this was my uh, one of my first Hilti tools that I got. I do have the brushed, uh, the brushless version right here. These two are going to go head to head to see what the power difference is versus brushless versus uh, brushed. This push in, no, it's not. You have to adjust the collet. And for the Makita, you have to adjust, you have to adjust the collet as well. And remember, when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. First, I, I want to do something a little bit different with these. I want to go through a six by six and see on how well these perform with pressure treated wood. What I have of the size is the Hilti, so for the specs. So we're doing the Makita first, see how well this performs. Battery is full, so ready, go. Alright, so Hilti is next. Battery is full. Alright, so ready, go. All right, we're just gonna do one specs, one specs each. All right, so uh, Makita is gonna take out Hilti's and Hilti's gonna take out Makita's. All right, so ready, go. Smells like a working motor. Doesn't smell burning or smoking at all. All right, so Hilti's turn. Uh, Hilti's taking uh, Makita's out. All right, so ready, go. Alrighty, so when it comes to the log, what we are going to do is we are going to do a couple of timber locks and then we're going to go over to the four inch, uh, half inch lag screws to see which one is even capable of even driving these in. We're going to put two in individually, uh, per impact. Then we're going to each of them is going to take two out at once. 
All right, Makita goes first. All right, so ready, go. I could smell that motor that time. And we are using, uh, the Makita is using the XP, uh, the XPS, uh, new bits. All right, so it is Hilti's turn. We gotta go close to this one. All right, so ready, go. on a little bit of an angle but that's all right all right so one more for Makita we're gonna go right here all right so ready go And last Timberlock for Hilti, which I see what I do is I keep it on the same ring that's close to it, so it's not a completely different density area for the same screw. All right, so ready, go. Both of them smell like a working motor. None of them are burning so far. And even if, even if the Makita or the Hilti start smoking, I, uh, for these simple tests, I consider it a crappy tool. So if either of these start smoking, we'll see what happens. All right, so now Makita is going to take uh, Hilti's out and Hilti is going to take Makita's out. All right, so ready? Go. It's okay, I'll, the time's gonna adjust. All right, so Hilti's turn. You can take two out at once. All right, so ready, go. Oh. All right, let's try this one. I smell burning, just so you guys know. I smell that motor. Oh, I majorly smell that motor. The battery is at three bars still. 86 in the, up. Oh, I got 102. The Hilti's at 102. Let's try the Makita. All right, 
in my book, the Makita is the winner already. All right, so we are using the Milwaukee uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter for the Tech Life impact rated sockets. Now I am gonna say this, you guys, I've been using these impact rated sockets for quite a while. The one bit, one socket, uh, one socket, and it is performing like no other socket I ever used. So like this thing's sort of, this thing's been through a lot and it's still going strong. I doubt this will be able to do it, but I want to see if it can. All right, so ready, go. It did it. Battery is at three bars now. All right, so no pre-drill. I don't pre-drill lag nuts, uh, lag screws, because there's no point. There's the, that's not a real test. All right, so ready, go. It did it where well, the battery is at three bars still doesn't smell like a, a burnt motor at all actually it smells like it barely went up anything yep uh the how anvil housing is at 111 and the motor uh 100 so yeah it barely went up and it barely went up anything and i'm not even uh i'm not even doing this because this is still it's in the 80s. You know, the Makita is running significantly cooler than the Hilti is by a long shot. All right, so, but it's all good though. I just, uh, I'm able to keep the tool and use it in future videos. All right, so, ready, go. Time. All right, so like I said in uh, previous videos, I listen to viewers <coughs> what I should do. They say uh, test the temperature as soon as I'm done using it, so I'm going to do that from now on. All right, so the temperature of the Makita topped off at 92 degrees. All right, battery is at three bars still. All right, I'm hoping it can do it. I really don't want to bring out another tool if the Makita can't take this one out either. All right, so ready, go. That is seriously interesting that it had a serious tough time taking out that... Uh, those that one timber lock, but it did a half inch, a four inch lag, like nothing. Hilti topped off at 119 degrees. Yep, 119 degrees. The rest of the motors like in 97 to 100. So yeah, it, it, both of them did the job. See, that's why I love 12 volt systems nowadays because they're so powerful. For it, it, they drive in uh, half inch lag screws. Seriously, it's I'm pretty sure they could drive in six inches as well. But we're gonna save that for a future video when it comes to these two competing against each other. So I just wanted to do this video and show the demonstration of this. Now both tools are both worth the money. Uh, this thing, they both have four amp hour batteries. Now the four amp hour battery for the Makita is significantly bigger 
than the four amp hour for the the Hilti. So I do not have a belt clip on these because the belt clips are actually on the Hilties are that are an additional cost. They do not come with the tool. It's like twelve dollars for a, a belt clip. So so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this, once again, the model number for the Hilti is SID two A, and the model number for the Makita is DT 3 if you had issues with your Makita or your Hilti uh, when it comes to the 12 volt line, uh, leave it in the comment below. I'd love to read the story. So please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.